an asteroid as big as a refrigerator hit our Earth two hours after it was first spotted, according to what NASA is revealing to us? That's frightening. It was the fifth time an asteroid was spotted hours before it struck our Earth, and the first time it happened since 2019. This is by Jordan Mendoza, Yahoo News. The asteroid around the size of a refrigerator was spotted hours before it hit our Earth's atmosphere, and while it was dangerous, it was not dangerous, it marked the fifth time in history an asteroid was detected right before striking our planet, impacting our planet. On March 11, 2022, astronomer Christian Zarnetsky noticed an asteroid in the Piszkesteto Observatory in Hungary. Zarzeski reported it to the International Astronomical Union's Minor Planet Center, and it confirmed it was the first time the asteroid had been observed. NASA's scout system, which constantly searches the Minor Planet Center's database for any potential Earth impacts, then calculated the asteroid's orbit, finding that the asteroid would certainly hit our Earth. The system then notified the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California and other asteroid impact systems. Luckily for Earth, the asteroid named 2022 EB-5 was around six and a half feet long, a size too small to pose a hazard to Earth, NASA said in their statement. An asteroid around the size of a refrigerator was spotted hours before it hit Earth's atmosphere, and while it was not dangerous, it marked the fifth time in history an asteroid was detected right before it hit our planet. The scout determined the asteroid would enter Earth's atmosphere around Jan Mayen, a Norwegian island roughly 300 miles northeast of Iceland, at 5.23 p.m. EDT, two hours after the asteroid was first spotted by Zarnetsky. The asteroid hit Earth's atmosphere just as scout predicted. It was the fifth time an asteroid was spotted hours before it hit Earth, and the first time it happened since 2019. Scout had only 14 observations over 40 minutes, 40 minutes from one observatory to work with when uh, it first identified the object as an impactor. We were able to determine the possible impact locations, which initially extended from Western Greenland to off the coast of Norway, said David Farnocia, a navigation engineer who developed Scout. He said, as more observatories tracked the asteroid, the, our calculations of its trajectory and impact location became more precise. The International Meteor Organization said, no meteorites from the asteroid have been recovered, but some people in Iceland reported seeing bright flashes indicating the space rock became a fireball. Paul Chodas, director of the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, said asteroids like 2022 EB-5 enter Earth's atmosphere around every 10 months, but it's hard to spot one before it's already entered the atmosphere. Chota said very few of these asteroids have actually been detected in space and observed extensively prior to impact, basically because they are very faint until the last few hours, and a survey telescope has to observe just the right spot of sky to the at the right time for one to be detected. While this asteroid snuck up on astronomers, there's no need to worry about a bigger catastrophic asteroid doing the same. NASA said larger asteroids are easier to spot and can be found far in advance. The agency noted this asteroid showed, showed their systems can be highly accurate in projecting an object's likely impact location and would help planetary defense systems to be fully prepared. NASA is testing its planetary defense system should a dangerous asteroid or ever threaten to hit our Earth. NASA's launch of the DART system in November, which will hit the asteroid moon of Didymus in September, with the goal of determining whether crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid could change its trajectory. This is by Jordan Mendoza, Yahoo News, on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.